Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to the Iron Diaper, which is your irregular, regular Gunpla news show, which drops every time something awesome is announced. And not just one something awesome has been announced this time, we've gotten a whole lot of something awesome announced this time, because over in Japan, there was the Gunpla Expo 2020 for the 40th anniversary of Gunpla, and they did not disappoint. I'm not joking, I'm blown away by some of these announcements, but hey, let's not waste any more time. If you do want any Gunpla of your own, or most of the things you see in this video, anything that is not Premium Bandai, you can pre-order that through Hobby Link Japan. None of these items are live just yet, but they should all go up sometime soonish when the full announcements of these items come out. So, as usual, we do have a 5% coupon, it's down there in the description right now, but it's time for that Gunpla. So I'm going to be taking all of the info for this episode straight from the Gunpla Expo website. So that is expo-newitems.bandaihobby.net. If you want to check that out yourself, it's all on here, including some of the prices and let's check them out. So there is a whole lot of announcements here. So just to clarify, I'm going to break them up into grades, starting with the biggest first, and then subcategorize them into... Uh, Full releases and premium Bandai releases, so you know where you can get yours. Anyway, first off, we've seen this one before multiple times already. That is coming out next month, and this is the perfect grade RX-78-2 Unleashed. One of the craziest plastic model robots to ever be announced, and this thing is multifaceted in more ways than one. I'm sure you know all about it by now, it's got multiple layers, the inner frame is kind of like a real grade, then we've got more inner frame, metallic coated parts, LEDs, it's got the works. But yeah, it's probably too late to pre-order that right now because it has been announced for a while, so let's move on to what is brand new. So if you like to show off your inner frame, this is a premium Bandai announcement. So this is clear armor for using on the Perfect Grade Unleashed. So there is a whole lot of detail inside of the armor of the Perfect Grade, so you might be thinking it's such a waste to have that all covered up. Well, now you can buy this premium Bandai only kit for slapping on the outside of it and displaying that inner frame, but there is just one problem with this. This is gonna make you want two perfect grades, one for the standard armor and one for this. That is evil Bandai. But anyway, the perfect grade unleashed is 27,500 yen, and the clear armor will cost you 4,950 yen without a middleman, so not so bad. So moving down the list now, and we're gonna be jumping right into the master grades. And the first one I have to talk about is this one right here. We all knew this one was coming because it was on the box of the Master Grade Gundam Kyrios. So we've got ourselves a bit of a pattern. When the Dynamis was announced, we had a Kyrios on that box. When the Kyrios came out, it had this Virtue on the box. So if we see an Exia on the box of the Master Grade Gundam Virtue, then we will probably get that 2.0 that we all want. But anyway, this right here is exciting. This is the Master Grade Gundam Virtue. There isn't much information about this so far, so this might be a late 2021 release, but I'm hoping, and I'm sure they'll do it, that there is a Gundam Nadler inside of that. Moving on. So next up out of the Master Grade announcements is the Master Grade Mobile Jin from Gundam Seed. This of course seems to be Japan's second favorite Gundam series after Universal Century itself, so it's not surprising they're adding more to the lineup. Now I won't lie, I am no Seed expert whatsoever. Anything I know about Gundam Seed comes right from the model kits of the mobile suits themselves, but all I can say is this looks awesome. I absolutely love the Gunner Zaku, so I'm hoping this will be equally as good, and if it is, it's gonna be awesome. The release date or the price of this kit have not yet been announced. On to the next one. So if you're a Universal Century fan, this may have made you scream in absolute joy, followed by re-sucking in that scream again, because this right here is not a Master Grade Dom 2.0. This is just like that thing that I can't remember what it's called, that beige one. The Dwedge, that's what it's called. This is basically just like the Dwedge, so this is more of a Master Grade Dom 1.5. So that means just some of the armor parts, some of the joints, etc. have been updated, but as it says down there in the Japanese, that this is from the existing Master Grade frame. We also got an announcement for a Master Grade Rick Dom as well, but from what I can see here, it's exactly the same. So this, once again, and the Dom itself are both just kind of update kits, not full 2.0s, and that's a bit disappointing. Once again, no release date and no price just yet. So next up on the Master Grade list is the 
Master Grade Gundam Mark V. I am blown away by the fact that this is getting a Master Grade and once again, this is a bit of a double-edged sword. This right here is the first of the premium Bandai kits I'm going to be talking about in regard to Master Grade and just like I said, it is premium Bandai. And that means all the awesome variants of the Gundam Mark V will probably be premium Bandai too. So if you were hoping for a Master Grade Dovin Wolf, a Master Grade Silver Bullet or a Master Grade Silver Bullet Suppressor, well there they're probably going to happen, but they're probably going to be P Bandai. But if they're like the Gundam F90, they will be absolutely awesome, just a little bit on the expensive side. But hey, expensive is better than non-existent. Once again, we've got no price yet, and we've got no release date yet. And speaking of the Gundam F90, and speaking of Premium Bandai, we're also going to get Gundam F90 Unit 2. So this is the same as what we would have seen before. If you want to see a review of the Gundam F90, you can just check out the review here on the channel. I love this kit to bits. It's so nice, it's so rubbery in a good way, and it holds its poses fantastically. But once again, this is the same as we would have seen before. It's just purple, it's 4,400 yen. And as far as I can see, there is no release date just yet. Also on the heels of the Gundam F90 Unit 2 is just this right here. As far as I can tell, this is just the I-Type mission pack we would have gotten with a previous Premium Bando release. Once again, I did review it if you want to check that out. That is the Gundam F90 Unit 2 with the I-Pack and another pack I can't remember off the top of my head. So yeah, this is nothing really all that exciting or new, so let's move on. So now we're into no grade 1 100 territory. So I assume this right here, which is the 1 100 Calamity Gundam, which looks absolutely phenomenal. Once again, from Gundam Seed. And this thing does look beautiful. Once again, I'm not necessarily sure why this would get the 1 100 treatment, that it wouldn't be based on some of the frames we have from previous awesome Seed Gundams before, like the Freedom 2.0. It's a very similar looking Gundam, so I don't see why they didn't. I assume this is going to be akin to a Reborn 100, just lacking the name because it's not Universal Century. But that's okay, because I do find the Reborn 100 style joints do work in smaller type kits like this right here. Not big ones like the Hamahama, even though that was the whole point. That didn't work out too well in my opinion. But I'm sure this will be pretty awesome. Apparently this is coming out in spring 2021, and we do not yet have a price. So next up then on the 1100 list is also quite confusing. So first off, this is the 1100 Freedom Gundam Shanghai version. So there is apparently going to be a 1 is to 1 full scale Freedom Gundam in Shanghai, which is crazy awesome and nice choice without a doubt. But this is just another standard 1100. I assume it's going to have those 1100 reborn 100 joints, just like we would have seen with the 1 is to 1 scale Yokohama Gundam kit that's 1100 scale. Man, I'm saying 1, 100 a lot. But once again, why did they not make this a master grade? I assume they want to keep the price down for tourists, but hey, that's still pretty cool. But uh, the 1 1 full scale freedom. Seems a whole lot cooler to me. Also, we do have an SD version as well I'll throw in here because I won't be talking about SDs in this video and, uh, well, there it is. So now moving on to what is swiftly becoming the most awesome Gundam grade of them all and that of course is Real Grade. And I am so psyched for this right here. This of course is the Real Grade High New Gundam coming out in summer 2021. We do not have a price just yet but look at this beauty and it's Real Grade. Which means more than likely all of those beautiful colors on there will be color separated. I am so excited. I don't know yet and it doesn't say much yet as to whether or not this is based on the inner frame of the real grade new Gundam. It kind of looks like it is but it's hard to tell. Either way that was a solid kit. Probably one of the greatest kits of all time. Potentially, maybe, just maybe, and in my opinion, is the best real grade to date. So I have high hopes for this one. And something tells me it will not disappoint. Looking forward to summer 2021. But before that, we'll be getting this. I did not see this coming. The TV version of Wing tends to get the short end of the stick at times, but this is impressive. If you hate Wing, you're probably sick of seeing real great variants of the Wing Gundam or just Gunpla variants of Wing in general. But I love the classic Wing. I'm sure that you do too. But it is pretty awesome that the classic TV design is getting a real grade. And just look at those wings. They've split them up into actual wings. 
did the... Yeah, I don't know. Wing didn't do this, did it? This is a new gimmick, right? For real grade. Again, this looks so cool. I'm not sure if they're going to reuse the old Wing inner frame or not. Wing definitely was an early real grade, which means it would have had one of those pre-molded internal frames, which tend to get a little bit floppy over time, not as cool as the more recent Mini Master Grade style like New Gundam, Crossbone, Force Impulse, etc. I hope they update it to be something like that. If so, this will be the ultimate real grade wing right here. Cannot wait. No price just yet though. So now moving into high grade and high grade does not disappoint. Coming right on in with the high grade Gundam Grimmery from the Iron Blooded Orphans offshoot manga. I never ever ever thought we were going to see this and I am so psyched. It's the most evil Gundam frame ever. It looks awesome. It's got a side that's actually half an anchor. The colors look great. It's got a pair of thruster wings that aren't over the top and I like this design. It's both awesome, but not too overdone. If you've ever gotten your hands on some high-grade IBO kits, you'll notice that the inner frame can be notoriously unreliable. So smaller kits tend to be a little bit more beneficial out of the box. Kits that don't have too many bits like big old wings like Marchosius had tend to be a lot more fun and hold together a little bit better. This thing looks so cool. It's got like a big old cowl, big pointy red V-fin horns. This thing looks incredible and I'm so glad it's been announced. I hope we'll see more Gecko Iron-Blooded Orphans mobile suits in future, because this is so cool. Moving on. From one awesome edgelord Gundam high grade to another, this right here, of course, needs no introduction. This is the high grade Gundam Death Scythe from Gundam Wing. So this is coming out in spring 2021. This is going to be one hell of a year for Gunpla. And as we've seen so far with the brand new line of TV version after Colony kits, like we would have seen with the Sandrock and Heavy Arms, I assume this is going to be awesome. It looks beautiful. I assume it'll share a lot of that frame, which is very, very good. And what can I say? If you love Wing and you love those TV designs, I can pretty much guarantee already you're going to love this kit. Cannot wait. And from one awesome high-grade announcement to another, this right here is the high-grade Psy Gundam? I think it's Psy. My Greek isn't the best, but either way, this thing looks crazy. So, you probably know of the high-grade Gundam Penelope with the Odysseus inside already, and more than likely you know of this too. So this is from the upcoming movie Hathaway's Flash, that's out in May of next year. There is a new trailer up on YouTube right now, so you can check that out in the meantime if you want to. And yeah, this is going to be an absolutely colossal Gundam. This one does not separate apart like we would have seen with the Penelope. This is all one big monstrosity of a crazy looking Gundam. I assume it's going to be along the same lines as the Penelope, as in it may not have the greatest color separation. It might be a little bit on the light side. But that is beneficial when it comes to a kit that is so big. And this thing is not coming out on its own. There will also be this effect set. This is not Premium Bandai, this is a full release. These parts work on both the Penelope and the Psy Gundam. Both this effect set and the Psy Gundam itself will be out in April. Hold on a minute! So the Psy Gundam costs 6,600 yen, it's on its own. That effect set is not an effect set. This is the Psy Gundam and Penelope and effect set all in the one big old box at 17,300 yen. That is a spicy meatball and I hope, really hope, those effect parts will come sold separately in some form or another. Otherwise, RIP wallet. <laughs> Next up in the high grade releases is the high grade Nightingale. Did not see this coming and also, what the hell? This got the short end of the stick entirely compared to the High New Gundam, the New Gundam, and Sazabi. Just in case you don't know what the Nightingale is, as far as I know, once again, no expert, it is the novel version of Sazabi. So it's Shar Aznable's mobile suit from the Shar's counterattack novel. Correct me if I'm wrong there. So compared to its anime counterpart, which would have been Sazabi, this is getting, well, the short end of the stick. However, this does look pretty cool and Honestly, maybe real grade might be a little too much for a big old mobile suit like this, especially one that doesn't look like it can do all that much. This thing's big, kind of looks like a melted Sazabi, and uh, it's out in summer 2021. 
Next up and coming from Gundam Seed Destiny is the high grade Dagger L. So if I don't know that much about Gundam Seed because I've never been able to make my way all the way through it, I think I got to episode 16, that means I know even less about Gundam Seed Destiny. But what I do know is I love grunt suits. I absolutely adore the Wyndom. It is such a good simple kit. I assume this will be along the same lines. Some kind of fine build system. Simple, solid, awesome little high grade. Definitely looking forward to this too. Maybe I should watch Gundam Seed and Gundam Seed Destiny. So the last of the full release high grade announcements is this right here. So this is coming out in an unknown time in 2021 at an unknown price, but this is a new high grade Zaku. So this is just a green version of that Shars one I would have looked at not that long ago. That was an absolutely fantastic kit. I loved it to bits and hope they'd make a green one. Now they're making a green one and all I can say is I want 10 of these minimum. They're so awesome. They're so classic. So old school 1979 Gundam that yeah, I want them and I want a lot of them and I'm sure you do too. Once again, coming out next year, but we don't know when. So next up, and we're into the P Bandai section of the high grade releases. So we have no release date, we have no price, but this right here is the high grade Geminas Unit 2 from G Unit Reoperation. Once again, if you haven't seen it already, I do have a full review of the high grade Geminas on here if you want to see that. This is, well, the Unit 2, what else can I say? It looks awesome. It's one thick Gundam with a whole bunch of stuff going on, and as you can tell, I don't know the first thing about it. Moving on. <laughs> Next up then is the High Grade Pale Rider Cavalry. So once again, this is a P Bandai only announcement. Nah, fuck's sake. Okay, here's the point where I'm going back on things. It's like two minutes 19. So next up and another P Bandai high grade announcement is the high grade Pale Rider Cavalry. So it's just like the high grade Pale Rider we would have seen twice before, except it's got one massive gun which pretty much looks like something we would have seen with the Heavy Gundam. It looks awesome, I know I want one, and you probably do too. No release date, no price, just yet. <laughs> so next up then we've got a whole bunch of SD announcements. So personally I don't collect SD kits and I don't really look into them too much, so I do not know anything about these. They do look absolutely gorgeous though, and I wish they came in Full proportioned Gundams. They would look so cool, but because they're not, well, I'm just gonna gloss over them. Moving on. <laughs> so the last couple of things we have in here are quite interesting. These aren't necessarily graded Gunpla per se, but they are still plastic models. This right here is the Real Experience Model or X780 Unicorn Gundam. So this, as far as I can see, is a fully automatic transforming bust of the Unicorn Gundam. It, transform, it transforms from Unicorn mode to Destroy mode and it seems like the lights can change color as well. Did you see that? Did that actually appear? I tried to click on this arrow. Anyway, yeah, it transforms to green, red and Unicorn mode. This thing is 39.6 centimeters tall to the top of its V-fin and sadly, once again, this is premium Bandai only. All these premium Bandai only announcements make me very, very sad. This should be a full release. It's so cool. According to the blurb as well, it's got some sound effects. That's pretty cool. <laughs> and speaking of busts, there's more busts coming out. This one's coming out at the end of this year. So that is next month. And it seems like once again, this will be at the Oryx 78 F00 Gundam in Yokohama. That is the one is to one scale Gundam. And one thing I'd like to know about this compared to the two model kits we've seen already, which is the 144th scale one and the 1100th scale one, is will that blue and that red and that white be split into two different colors or will it just be nerfed back to the classic color scheme of one color per color? Who knows? But it is pretty cool looking. There is no size here saying what size it is, so we don't know if it's bigger, smaller or whatever than the Orx Zero Unicorn one that we just saw. I can assume it might be around the same height, but it is a bust to the waist, so it is different. Either way, it's got LEDs in the eyes and head camera. Anyway, that is it for all of those releases. This is crazy. Personally, I'm looking forward to the Gremory, Deadside, Gundam Mark V, both of those awesome real grades, Master Grade Virtue, hell, I'm looking forward to everything. As usual, one of these videos, drop it down there in the comments, which one of these kits or which ones of these kits 
gets you excited. Which ones do you want? As always, thank you so, so much for watching. Make sure to come back for more Gunpla news and reviews. There is a link down there in the description. You can get any of these that aren't P Bandai eventually from Hobby Link Japan with 5% off with that coupon. And as usual, I will see you next time.